Hey guys, full disclaimer, I I know last video I, I spun the wheel, it gave me Castlevania, Order of Ecclesia, and Bloodlines. And I I got I do have that one coming. But I think it'll be easier right now to just focus on one game. And don't worry, that this episode will be coming. The Castlevania one. I just got this game here. And it's called Saturday Night Slam Masters. Made by Capcom, so let's take a look. Alright, so this is Saturday Night Slam Masters. It is a wrestling video game by Capcom. And I'd actually say it sort of combines the gameplay of Street Fighter and Final Fight. As you can see, uh, Final Fight's Hagar is a playable guest character. Pretty cool, pretty cool, pretty cool. Um, it's... It's a commonly overlooked game. I mean, it's... Of course, it's from Capcom. It's gotta be good. This is, I'd actually say, the best wrestling game of the time it was released. I'm sure there are probably better games these days. But this game is pretty good. Not gonna lie, I don't have. There's not so much to say about this. You know, I, I did do this instead of Castlevania games, but I just wanted to get this one out of the way because I had this one, this game on my mind. Yeah, but uh, you see, it, it's simple. Uh, you got one button to punching, one button to kicking, and another button to pinning. It's simple. You know? You don't need no random combinations of buttons to figure out how to play. Like, if you want to make combos, I guess. But this isn't really that much of a combo game. It's more of a wrestling game. Duh. But, like, there's not. I don't really know what else to call it other than a wrestling game. It's somewhat of a fighting game. I actually call this a fighting game. Wrestling games are fighting games. This one... It's, it's something. It's some fighting game. Uh, yes, I just reset the gameplay right there. Yeah. Just wanted to get this game out of the way. Uh, there are multiple characters to choose from, including my Kagar. And, uh, yeah, it's an overall, I mean, it's, the game's not perfect, I mean, the character roster is relatively small, it's, uh, the controls could be a bit tricky sometimes, the computers can be a bit, they, they can go a bit crazy on you. And you get timed, which is somewhat annoying. But other than that, it's a really good game. I'd give it about an 8 out of 10. Should start scoring these, uh, these hidden gems. But, yeah, that's, that's this game for you. Okay, if you want to get a, a Famicom version, a Super Famicom version, I'm sorry, it's $8. If you want to get an American version, which you'll probably want to do, it's $24. Yeah. Well, that's it for this video. Uh, be sure to like this video, comment, subscribe, and stay tuned for next Hidden Gem, where I cover the two Castlevania games that I promised you guys. Don't worry, guys, it will come. Alright, see you guys. Bye.